Mm. Now, looking at the books, because I remember buying your books when my children was growing up, so they grew up on them. And that's something that, you know, really, really helped them um, through their childhood. Now, looking at it, you looked at very, very many figures, very, very many figures. So if you had to choose, say, one female figure and one male figure in all the research that you did that really kind of opened your eyes and really had that wow factor that you know, I just didn't realize this. Wow, this is something fantastic. Who would they be, do you think? Uh, I know it's difficult it, <laughs> so it, much. It's a very, very, very difficult, um, for me anyway, <laughs> question yeah. to try to even begin to answer. Um, you know, I think I've been asked that a few times and uh, it, wow. I, it's very difficult. One of the things you find, certainly when I was first coming into this knowledge, the first person uh, the first few that I read mm -hmm. about, I was like, wow, this is amazing. You know, I, I never knew that we, you know, did such amazing things. But then you start researching, you're finding more and more and more. Mm -hmm. Even today, when I look at, you know, I discover something and someone new, I'm still saying, wow, I didn't, you know, this is amazing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, so it, it's very, very you know, I find it very difficult trying to pinpoint one. You know, I've got several for several different reasons. I, okay, uh, that's I, fine. Know, I, 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 yeah, I would say. Um, of course, you really can't um, mention a black scientist inventor or uh, somebody of note without mentioning as you said, the world's first multi-genius Imhotep. That's right. um, and then when you realize that, you know, this person looked like you and he's from this place they call now North Africa uh, in Egypt and uh, they try to make it out as if people like you <clears throat> didn't originally come from that region and you weren't the people that built these amazing um uh, 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 you know amazing um buildings that we see over there today still still over there today you know mm -hmm. they've been thousands and thousands of years old but um learning about this great multi-genius imhotep mm -hmm. i guess for me was the first person that made me think wow you know and blew my mind right. um learning about somebody such as George Washington Carver right. uh, was another amazing thing, you know, and the things that he done. And I would certainly say if you were to pick uh, the five most um, uh, um, so-called Americans who, who, who have contributed to um, American science. Mm -hmm. George Washington Carver is well within that top five. Oh, and, you yeah. know, it's <laughs> very, very easy. Um, but unfortunately, not as many people would have heard of him. You know, uh, I, you know, they would have heard of people like Thomas Edison. Mm -hmm. They would have heard of people like Alexandra Graham Bell. Yeah. I, I, yeah, they would have heard of, um, uh, I forgot his first name, uh, Mr. Tesla. Oh, yeah, but, Nikola Tesla, yeah. That's right, Nikola Tesla. But in terms of knowing George Washington Carver, many wouldn't have, although his contributions and oh, what he's done uh, still affect us today. Immense contribution. There's actually, I think it's one of those, I think it's Iowa or... I think it's Iowa. They've got a university dedicated to him. Right. Because, as you know, farming, he yeah, transferred absolutely. the whole agricultural Agriculture. system in America. Absolutely. So, so the farmers, the farmers, <laughs> if you talk to the average farm in America, they've heard of him. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. So George Washington Carver, and, you know, 
apart from his magnificent feats in science, what I truly like about that particular person was that being in, an enslaved African himself, in fact, one that was um, actually stolen as well wow. um, and treated as cattle. In fact, he was um, traded in for um, uh, uh, for cattle. Um, coming out of slavery um, and being able to reach the levels that he reached in science to the uh, point where he was um, often uh, uh, um, invited um, to sit in council with people like Henry Ford That's at the time Ford. and yeah. uh, um, the president at the time yeah. Roosevelt was, Roosevelt, yeah, president Roosevelt. His advice mm -hmm. and could have worked in you know uh, uh, for them or in a particular era but he chose to work you know uh, with the great Booker T Washington that's right that's both right. him and Booker T Washington um, building the Tuskegee Institute you know one of the first uh, what do you call it again the uh, uh, traditional black colleges yeah traditional black colleges it, it, right. you know of, 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 of that time one you know one of the early ones um, and, you know and really to help to industrialize our people and get them to be able to do things for themselves if they could build all the things that they did build um, during enslavement for other people then why could they not do it for themselves now that they're so-called freed? So I liked his attitude and what he was trying to do. I mean, he must have had such a massive impact on the people and on that area at the time. You know, we even had Marcus Garvey. Let's not forget, um, <clears throat> Marcus Garvey initially uh, wanted to um, copy the blueprint that Booker T had with that's, the that's industrial that's school. That's yeah. Right. And that's what both him and George Washington Carver were doing. So, um, yeah, I have complete admiration for that man, George Washington Carver, in terms of, you know, coming back and working with his people. In terms of his scientific feats, well, that's on another level also. I won't go into that right now. <laughs> that's amazing. Amazing. Okay, yeah. so that's um, so you mentioned of, quite. Let me just say this in terms. Of, I, I'll mention. I mean, there's again, there's in terms of the women scientists event. There's so many, but mm -hmm. I'm going to mention this person. Uh, it, it's not just for the inventiveness, um, but it's for some other reasons, and I'll tell you this, and that is Madam C.J. Walker. Okay, and that um, I mention her because of her entrepreneurial um, skills and again her ability to go for self um, and uh, um, use whatever uh, we had at the time um, to try to create some form of commerce uh, um, independent commerce within the black mm -hmm. community mm -hmm. of course there were other people even before Madam C.J. Walker, in the terms of Annie Malone, who I believe uh, Madam C.J. Walker at one stage worked with. Right. But women like Annie Malone, Madam C.J. Walker, their mindset and what they were trying to do, I, I, I think even, you know, these these were early pioneers in this, um, what do they call it, the um, network marketing. Um, oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. When I think yeah. about it, there was, yeah. Yeah. Me and, I think network marketing owes a lot to her because that's how she managed to popularize Absolutely. her products and end Absolutely. up being the first um, female millionaire. Yeah, self-made in, in America, self-made. Yeah, yeah. So these these are examples as well. And I often say to our people, you know, we should look at. You know, there may be some things they don't quite like about some of these people, but there are other things, um, you know, that you may 
and 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 it, it, you know may be to your benefit to see how they did certain things and perhaps some of these particular things um we can employ today you know when you talk about the hair industry for example um be it in the uk in america as you know we don't really control that uh, <laughs> being controlled by people who often don't you you know have no that's use it. for the products that um you know no we use. use so let us tell us cash cash cows that's all they see us as long as we're making yeah. the money that's all yeah. we're used that's all we're useful for yeah so you know but we have examples that we can follow you know uh people who have done you know and we in fact these other people are following our examples and making you know waxing rich um from you know almost from our unfortunately i would say our laziness in that area to allow other people to come in and you know make big money off of our own things the things that we're supposedly you know mm -hmm. inventing the things that we're using um yet they're making money from us just buying back the things that we need so yeah we yeah we we could take notes from some of these people of the past and what they were able to do but yeah these are just a couple of the many people that i've looked at mm -hmm. that um I say wow, <laughs> you know, that wow factor <laughs> when you said that, you know, that I, I find inspiring. Right. Yeah. That well, 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 those are uh, massive examples, massive examples, because I remember particularly um George Washington Carver when I did purchase your book when my children was growing up. And for some reason they just gravitated towards that figure. Because most, you know, peanuts, because everybody's George Washington Carver, the next word is peanut man, <laughs> the peanut, yeah. you know, what he did with the peanuts. I mean, he did a lot more, but that one, for some reason, children just latch onto him. Why oh, he did all this, he did all that. Absolutely. Yep. He did all that. And, and then some. And then some. And then some. And like I said, it, 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 you know, our contribution was trying to be concealed, you know, so it's a great thing that you have done in terms of bringing out these books and these series of books to let people know the, just the genius and the inventiveness of the African race. And that's something that continues today because I remember latterly you bought uh, a particular figure in the field of mathematics to the art center uh because the reason why it jumped out at me he also hails from birmingham where i grew up <laughs> and um brother was doing fascinating things you know absolutely fascinating things so um that's that's something that I really think your book will help inspire the, 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 the children going through school. Because as you say, you do it in such a way that it's easy for them Dr. to understand. Yeah, hello? Yeah, if you don't mind, can you just say the last bit again about the person brought to the Mahat because uh, you completely broke up. Okay, sorry, I'll get a bit closer to the mic. Hopefully that will help. Yes, there was a brother you bought to the Mama Art Centre a couple of years ago. Right. And he had, um, you know, done tremendous things in, in, in the field of mathematics, uh, you know, particularly. And um, because, you know, for whatever reason I find especially going through the British education system, they have very low expectation of African children, black children, when it comes especially to the scientists, you know, the sciences. Yes, yes. They're always going to say, it's beyond you. Mm -hmm. You know, stick to the social sciences. You may be able to tackle that. But when it comes to the what they call the hard science, they have very, very low expectation of African people. And hence, you find a lot of them 
are just marginalized. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, the story, the person that you're talking about is Dr. Naira Chamberlain. That's and, the one. That's, yeah, yeah. Um, from your neck of the woods in Birmingham. But um, he, you know, um, he enjoyed maths as a young person. And he remembers that when he um, uh, got to the GCSE or O levels uh, uh, stage and he uh, was finishing his exams and about to embark on the next part of his education journey mm -hmm. he went to his teacher and career's teacher and asked them um you know it's uh, sought their advice well of course they gave a careers book uh and he just opened the careers book and he fl flicked through it and he just ended up on the uh it was a careers book from a to z and he just happened to end up on m and it had m for mathematician mm -hmm. and mathematics and he looked at it and he read it and he thought to himself, hang on a minute, you know, I quite enjoy maths. Um, yeah, and I'm, I think I'm, you know, good at it. Uh, mm -hmm. And perhaps maybe I should look for a career in that particular area. Well, he went back to his career teacher and said, you know, I'm actually interested in mathematics um, and I'd like to seek a career in that particular area. The career teacher took a look at him and of course, um, I was quite a big chap. It was, a, you know, it's probably a big chap uh, uh, for his age back then. And the career teacher simply said to him, well, the way, Naira, the way you built, perhaps you should be a boxer. You should think of be about becoming a boxer. And that was the advice the career teacher, you know, um, had, yeah, had, had, had given to him. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, he felt quite... Um, disheartened by the advice given um just went home spoke to his mother and father and his father said to him naira you don't need anybody's permission to be a great mathematician and he said to himself it just occurred to him wow that's true and the rest is history because he became that great mathematician. So, you know, um, oftentimes we need to see things. We need to um, be given positive um, advice in order if we want to achieve in particular areas. Um, when you're constantly being bombarded with negative images and negative uh, information, you'll gravitate. Oh, yeah, yeah, gravitate, mind will gravitate that. towards mm -hmm. that. And I think mm -hmm. one of the, the best examples, I have an image, I don't know if I can share it with you, um, that best demonstrates this, you know, this particular thing. I'll see if I can share it. Okay, yeah. Um, where's your, as we speak, share screen. Share. I'll see if I can find this image. Yeah. Yeah, that's definitely so. Why, yeah, why you're looking to um, onto that? Yeah, just to say that, as I said, low expectation. I, and then I think the reason behind that was for years, as you know, our history, our achievement was being concealed. And when you look at ancient Kemet, in order to build such a civilization, you had to be master of things like the science and mathematics. So you see, indirectly, there was, they didn't want us to be associated with that because it might actually lead to us realizing the, the great builders of those civilization. So they steered us clear, as you say, the sports, or the music that's what we excel that we were told and and we should stay with that absolutely <laughs> you know but yeah so um okay yes it's come up i'll put it up on the screen right yes
Okay. Yeah. So you know, it's you know, it speaks for itself. You know, mm-hmm. how can they be what they cannot see? Let's use the international the international best selling black scientist invented series of books to inspire a new generation to use their imagination to aspire mm-hmm. to be the very best version of themselves in every endeavor including becoming scientists and inventors par excellence that's right so this is basically what we're saying you know they need to first see it they need to see when they see and know that it exists they know that they can do it themselves but when you have others telling them they can't Mm -hmm. when all they see is things that are actually detrimental to us as individuals and us as a community, mm-hmm. um, then the mind may gravitate towards that rather than, you know, being all that they can truly be the best versions of themselves. And so, you know, again, that's one of the reasons for these books. They have to first see themselves, know that it's possible. And these Brilliant. books show that it's possible it shows it's possible historically and it shows that it's possible um currently mm-hmm. on a contemporary uh, level and if they can see in the past and present then they can determine a better future for themselves that's it that that that's true so now coming right that up to date sense yep yeah. make perfect sense now coming right up to date now your series of books we talked about schools earlier have any of the schools actually purchased them are they available in any of the state schools at the moment yeah there are schools up and down the country over the year that mm-hmm. have um purchased these books and some are you know have been using it you can find them in school libraries and so forth oh, brilliant. so we're happy that they're in schools but um they could be in much more and they should you know ideally mm-hmm. they should be in every school you know certainly in this country in the uk um right. and then you know in other countries mm-hmm. um certainly where our people are in in african countries and uh, right. caribbean countries yeah mm-hmm. of course um they should be there uh, uh for you know for 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 our young people um, to go through it and to inspire them um, to be the best they can be. Um, so it's, it's important, and we'd love to see them in more and more schools. But mm-hmm. also, what's important that let's not just rely on the schools to have these books. Yeah, mm-hmm. we also have personal responsibility. That's and right schools are not taking it we can have these in our homes we're constantly encouraging parents to build up their own personal libraries their life their home libraries i agree 100 percent with that 100 percent that it starts in the homes Absolutely. and like i said when mine was growing up i think i had up from one till about four or five right at oh, the okay. time I had all the series that they could go through systematically and now looking at them, they've been much the better for that. Excellent. Much the better for that. Now that takes me on to say schools on the continent, because one of the things that's a great shame that I've found every time I've visited the continent is the lack of literature in terms of that reflects us. African literature you 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 look into the educational um, sector in those countries and the Caribbean as well because I remember as a small child growing up in Jamaica going to the schools in Jamaica and I hope things have changed because it was an absolute disgrace in terms of um, learning about yourself I mean I could tell you about Henry VIII Mm. I could tell you about Isaac Newton. Mm. I could tell you about Christopher Columbus. Mm. But you asked me to tell you about any African figure. And the only one probably I could mention at the time was maybe Kuju of the Maroons and Nani. Right. Because that's right. something that was, is, is, is that, that was just like a um, local 
legend that's all around you. So they couldn't fail to talk about that. But apart from other things, no, that's not the case. So what kind of, have you had any approaches or any success in actually getting this series of book into schools in the Caribbean or on the continent? Uh, yes. Um, again, often, oftentimes when uh, uh, people see our books, um, they may be visiting from an African country or Caribbean country here in the UK. And, uh, you know, they see the nest, how important the books are. Um, and so, you know, they will buy, uh, you know, a number of the books and, and bring back and, okay. um, have, you know, for their schools or bring back in a, uh, for their libraries and so forth. So that's good. Of course, we've also had to do our own legwork where we've mm -hmm. gone into a number of countries and um, either donated books, um, had the books bought off of us or uh, given presentations um, on Black Scientists event. And so we've managed to get them in into certain schools, um, you know, in the Caribbean uh, and in, in, in African countries also. Okay, that's very, that, 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 that's very, to me, that's very enlightening. That's, that, that's great news. Now, the other question is, because I say, for instance, have a, um, a lot of contact with the Senegal, but unfortunately, as you know, because of the Berlin Conference in 1884 and what happened to Africa being carved up, you have all these different spheres. So yes, you have your so-called Anglophone section and your Francophone section, and Senegal falls into that region. So all the literature, if it's not in French, there's a problem. You know, so is there any of your books actually translated into various other languages? And if not, is there any plan to do so? Um, well, one of our books, the, uh, what do you call it? The Black Science Inventors, sorry, Black Women Science Inventors, mm -hmm. uh, straight away was, um, was translated in, in Dutch at the time. Uh, okay. simply because um, uh, the co-author um, whose parentage is from Suriname oh, but um, it's yeah. grown up in Holland yeah. uh, we both uh, wrote the book um, uh, yeah, together and so mm -hmm. we had a, a version uh, that went directly into Holland and Suriname um, right. but it was also useful for although the books at the moment do very well in, um, for example, uh, Southern Africa, South Africa in English. Right. Um, some of them being in Dutch, some of the Af um, oh. Cape Tonian people um, mm -hmm. who, you know, speak more Afrikaans um, will understand the Dutch version as well quite, e nice. you know, nice. quite easy. Right. Yeah. Yeah, um, we've also had the books um, in a different format, but being translated in Zu into Zulu, oh, into um, a couple of other languages. I can't remember off my head right now, and of course French. Oh, you've got something translated in French. Yes, yes. Oh, that's brilliant. Well, I've been touched because you know, like I'm saying, I I'm very heavily involved with the Senegal. And I would love because, in fact, my um, uh, wife's father is an ex-headmaster and he actually runs a school. You know, he he's retired, but when he retired, the first thing he did was to set up a school which he'd take a lot of the very underprivileged children off the streets and educate right. them. Right. So that's something I would love to get some copies in French so I could donate to him. You know, yeah. because okay. that's, that's something that I think they would benefit greatly from. You know, so so um, I've also got perhaps I can if I can show this mm -hmm. um, some of the people and you know uh, some of the effects it's been having in, on certain people. The Black Science Inventor books. All right. So um, let me see if I can pull this up. Um, just... 
Yeah, and what's interesting with Senegal as well, as you know, they have a tradition with Sheikh Ante Diop being one of the main scientists of our time, mm. doing the tremendous work he did. And what I found sad every time I went to Senegal, when I, you know, because Diop's book, African Origin of Civilization, Myth or Reality, or Civilization or Barbarism, Classics. And when you do go to Senegal and mention Diop, not many people know Diop for his scientific achievement at all. They know Diop in terms of his political involvement. So, you know, it's really ironic, but um, that's, that's a part of the world that I would definitely think your books will be very beneficial. I heard a bit when you were talking about Diop and not many people knowing about his scientific, um, you know, um, oh, achievements. Yes. And yes, that's, yeah, I was, I was, that's say. what I was saying, in the land of his birth, every right. time I go there and mention him, apart from, you know, like university student, because he was a university professor, but in a general populace, not many people realize the achievement he had in the scientific uh, community. Absolutely. Most of them would know Diop in terms of his political activity. Yes, yes. That's yes. Diop claim to fame in the Senegal. So there's an actual um, the university he taught at called the University of Dakar. And there's yeah. a big thing, Ifan. Yes. And now they've actually turned it into like an institute. And when you go there, in fact, I was there last November and I managed to go there and they have put now a massive mural of him outside the university. Right, but, right. You know, he, he had a tremendous, um, tremendous effect, uh, but it's mostly in Africa. Unfortunately, it's mostly on the kind of intellectuals uh, that fear never really trickled down to the mass uh, populace. But that's why I think your books, if we can get them into the schools, you know, primary schools and stuff. It, it would have a tremendous effect in really opening people's eyes into achievements of African people in the field of science and technology worldwide. Right. Yes, yes. I... Okay. Yeah, I was going to say in terms of, as you were saying with Diop, he, he definitely is one of the other ones that... Um, um, it has inspired me so much in terms of his contributions. Mm -hmm. The fact that he could use his science in order to uncover um, many things that were hidden from us That's right. in terms of our history. Um, and so, you know, I, as a as a physicist, um, you know, being able to do that, I I I, I think it's so amazing. Definitely, yeah. <laughs> you know, it was revolutionary, world-breaking when he Absolutely. did that. I think it put to bed once and for all this myth about ancient Kemet. I mean, I know they're still trying to um, come up. Okay, it's up now. Okay, now I was trying to show some other things, but you're, <laughs> the thing is not working. But uh, okay, yeah, this is another example, though. Right. Um, it's not working the way I want it to work, but mm -hmm. um, but just for people um, who don't know about the books, you can see a, a splash of some of the books uh, 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 there. Um, and this is a happy customer saying, uh, Dr. Mel Stewart, um, I believe from the Midlands, uh, let's okay. continue to help our youth to see right. their past, be creative in the present, and begin to shape their future with these amazing books. Mm -hmm. So that was, you know, of course, nice to hear. Um, and of course, I know she's going to be doing some great stuff with those books. So yeah, you can see there's. Um, for anybody who wants to know, there's about ten. Of uh, uh, of the books in a series. Oh, great! Yeah, of the black scientists and inventors. Uh -huh. 
also I'll just show if I can get this one up it's not working at all where we go here we are Okay. Right, it's coming up. Yep, let me stick that on the screen. Okay. Um, and this is um, uh, Dr. Thomas Mensah, um, one of the um, inventors of um, a technique for manufacturing fiber optic cables. Yeah, because when, when the name jumped out at me, because I remember when it came to fiber optics, that's the guy that cracked the puzzle. Yeah. So you can see Dr. Mensa there uh, in Ghana with um, the uh, Black Signs of Venice book seven. In fact, he's featured in that particular, oh, that particular book. <laughs> um, his invention, of course, I can go on all day, but um, anybody who wants to know about him, I'll just say, get the book. Let's get the uh, book. That's yeah, it. It's all, it's all, it's and thanks it. to him, thanks to him, all those people now that's on the internet and doing their streaming, it's thanks to him that that's possible. It's thanks to him that we're able to do this right now. Precisely, because he's going through fiber optics. Absolutely. You know? And it's thanks to him. For years they had, you know, things going through copper wire wasn't working and it was trying and he took up that problem and he solved it. I'll try to show another one. Um, where are we here? Let's just Is it coming up? Yes, it's coming up. Let's see. Yes. That's it, it's come up. Okay. So, um, uh, those of you who know of the um, Kantanka Industries, um, uh, one of the major things they, they make are the Kantanka cars yeah, over course. in, in Ghana. Oh, no. mm -hmm. And that's the CEO of Kantanka uh, Industries, the actual founder of Kantanka. Um, is his father, Dr. Safu, um, who's also featured in, in, in the Black Science event as book six. Yes. You can see him, he's holding up a copy um, in his hand where you can learn about the Kantanka industries and what they're doing, some of the great work that they're doing over there in Ghana. Yes. That's also another recent wow um, occasion for me. Uh, when I first learned about Kantanka, uh, before visiting them and finding out if this thing was actually true, um, I couldn't believe what I was reading um, in terms of the, you know, the the information I was getting and how other people weren't talking about this. Here you have in Africa, um, people building their own cars, mm -hmm. um, building their own um uh um consumable electronic um, um products such as tvs radios and so forth uh, um and the idea conceived in africa with african engineers um africans on a production line putting these things together um primarily for an for an african market wow. yet um people were not singing loudly it's about it it's hardly yeah. talked about. I mean, like Absolutely. I first came across a few years ago when with, with the car, and I'm sure it was in one of your books that I first came across it as well. Yeah, you know, and I thought in Africa now that he'll be everywhere. He'll be well known, and I bet you hardly anybody know. Maybe a few people in Ghana may do, but outside of Ghana, he's hardly known, which is yeah. crazy. Well, you know? again, it's about placing value. You know, we That's don't it. place value. Even again, even sometimes in our own countries, we're not placing value on what we have. You know, uh, you know. Oftentimes, when you talk about things like Katanka, the first thing you'll hear 
from people who do know about them is, oh, well, do they make everything? Do they yeah. make the whole car in Africa? Uh, sure, they're not just a, an assembly line. Uh, that's like, exactly what I heard. Now, yeah. I would so say, I tried to answer them the same way and said, okay, cars are made in Britain. Do they make the whole thing? Exactly. You cars are made me. in Germany, Japan. Do they make the whole thing? Absolutely. The way the world is now, one part engine is manufactured here, that is manufactured here, that is manufactured here. That's how the world is. No okay. country anymore assemble a car and make everything in the country. Absolutely. So you know? that's one of the things I try to tell. I say, you know, you find any car where you can find absolutely everything, one manufactured in the same country, but two manufactured in the same place, same company. No, you can't. Somebody who's made, you know, is making a catalytic converter, is not making the chairs, that's you right. know, is not making the ru rubber for the windscreen wipers. You know, it's, it, it, it's a ridiculous to think that, um, you know, one, it, it wouldn't be economically beneficial for that exactly. company. That company would go under straight away. But when it comes to, you know, an African uh, company developing cars, you know, some of these naysayers, the first thing you hear is, mm. well, they're not making the whole thing. That's it. It's, 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 it's not it's, really it's, African. It's not really. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Just to take, you know, take... Take and take, even take if the whole it. thing, in my opinion, even if, which is not, but even if the whole thing was assembled in Africa, it's a start. It's a start. Yeah. It's we had a glorious start. past and we know the great things that we've, uh, what we created in the past. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But we've had, as you know, through our Martha and, and so forth, we've been under um, an arrested development stage. Um, now we're coming out of it and mm. just to see something like that you should say wow it's That's possible awesome. it's possible these were the things that marcus garvey was talking, talking about. about these talking were the things about. he wanted to see happen yeah. yeah and now we're seeing it happen and now we're seeing it happen so you don't have to go to a make-believe film to see a city of wakanda and be going on oh you know how brilliant Wakanda is, this and the other. But when you have a real life one called Katanka, <laughs> you won't go over there and support, you know. And support and it. Mm. Gosh. No, that, that, uh, that, that's fascinating. And I just hope they go from strength to strength. And I hope they get the support of the African public. I hope they purchase the car and buy the car. You know? Absolutely. In so you know i've got many pictures and i could show you many different uh, you know things that of course uh, time won't commit mm -hmm. um but you know this just gives you an idea of some of the things that you know we've contributed in the past and what we're contributing now today in you know in all areas of stem mm -hmm. and certainly we can be contributing in the future the books are there um I encourage um, parents to get hold of these books, get hold mm -hmm. of these books for their children. Um, I'm not sure when this feed is going out, um, but I do know that this weekend, the whole of this weekend, we've got a deal on the uh, Black Scientist Adventures complete set, a set of 10 okay. books. So right. yeah, we've, we've reduced the price by at least 30%. Uh, <clears throat> so, um, and that is in uh, conjunction, of course, with Black History Month and right. uh, Black Pound Day, which is on Saturday, I believe. Right. Um, so, yeah, we're encouraging um, our people to spend their money, um, some of their money on books, some of their money with us. Mm -hmm. At the same time, getting access to um, this material at a, um, a reduced um, cost. Mm -hmm. um, and so they can start on this journey of uh having their children learn about great scientists inventors and people that look like them oh brilliant so the next question now if they want to get hold of these books where's the best place to get hold of them okay any good black bookshop should have these uh um books in stock mm -hmm. uh, distributors um such as pepper books 
will also have uh, these books in stock. And of course, they can come directly to us. Um, okay. Uh, www.bizpublications.com um, right. to get hold of the uh, the books if they want to take advantage of the deal yeah. that we have over the weekend um it would be best to contact us on whatsapp right. um okay. and i can give you the whatsapp number yeah. which is simply zero seven nine zero three seven nine one four six nine and so um if they send us a whatsapp message we can uh, send them a private link um to the actual offer that we have no this brilliant weekend. so what i'll do i'll put all the information in the description your website and so forth so they can go directly and get those information as well okay You're right so first scientists it was a pleasure having you today and um i hope the people that do view this will be much the better for it in terms of the information the material they'll be able to get their hands on and being black history month as well i think this would make the perfect present remember kwanzaa is just down the road this would make a perfect Kwanzaa present, I would say. And remember, information is power, as they say. We have been kept in the dark for too long, especially in the science and, and technology field, in that we have been told it's not a place that we belong because it's not a place that we have ever contributed. Well, your book have blown that lie out of the water. Just going through your books, you can see the wealth of knowledge that's coming from African people, what African people has done. And, you know, it's something that is an initiative that I'm glad that you started because referring back to my own children at the time, they benefited greatly. And I'm sure over the years, many many a child has benefited from your book so i just hope your books go from strength to strength and when this does go out if any other people in the caribbean africa in this country is listening because there's a lot of satna schools in this country that's run and each satna school should have a series of your books if they don't have so already and i encourage all people to pass this information on right across the pan-african world because these are books that every african child plus african adult should know about because the information held within them is absolutely invaluable thank you brother tahaka and thank you for your listeners Thank you very much. Okay, thank you very much, um, First Scientists. Thank, thank you, you very much for appearing today.